Lito Shane 3 d is an easy to use bitmap to STL utility from Brazil. It is freeware, but donations are welcome. An open image button launches a file browser to select the source image. A range of image formats are supported. Letho Fame 3 d automatically scales the source image. The longest edge is remapped to either 500 or 1000 pixels. Source image contrast, brightness, and gamma can be adjusted with live display of the effect on the loaded image. Gamma adjustments optimize contrast and brightness in midtones without modifying black and white values. A binarize option remaps the image to black and white with slighter control of black white inclusion threshold. The negative button inverts image colors and the restore button resets the image to its initial state. In this example, colors are inverted to produce convex displacement. 3D tap parameters address surface width, height and z-depth. Width value defaults to 100 mm. Height value is then derived to correspond with image aspect ratio. If desired, changes can be entered manually, but this can impact the resolution in the generated surface. I.e., 1000 pixels mapped to 100 mm mesh equals subdivision of 0.1 mm. Whereas, 1000 pixels mapped to 200 mm mesh equals subdivision of 0.2 mm. For larger sizes, scaling an exported mesh can preserve more detail. Z depth value does not affect mesh resolution. Thickness values greater than zero add a base to the mesh. Edge values greater than zero add a order as specified. In this first example, Z depth is established as 4 mm. Thickness is left as default value of 0.25 mm. The Generate 3D button initiates surface calculation. And after a little time, a pass relief surface appears in the view. In the 3D view, right click and drag zooms the view. Left click and drag rotates the view. Click and drag with a mouse wheel pans the view. The Save STL button exports the surface. Returning to the Image tab. Restore is used to return the image to its initial state. In the 3D tab, Generate 3D is pressed. And, after a little time, a new 3D mesh is generated. In this case, the surface is a lethal fane. Lighter pixels in the image produce thinner areas that are more translucent, showing as brighter when the carved or 3D printed surface is backlit. Mold parameters are similar to lethal fanes, with a main difference being Z depth value. In this case, the Z depth value applied is 25 mm. 2 mm thickness value adds a base to prevent breakthrough. Generate 3D initiates creation of the surface. And, after a little time, a mold appears in the view. Photographs are not difficult to process. In this example, Z depth is set as 3 mm and an edge setting a 5 at the 5 mm quarter. The result is a lethal fane that represents the source very well with suitable level of detail. Lethal fane 3D is ideal for use with generic height maps. An awareness of some basic principles, coupled with easy dim or escape techniques, can produce high quality custom results without need of expensive proprietary software.